So everyone and their grandmother is dumping Carvalho Manor. It's not just one store. It is not just two stores. It's literally everyone. The only person charging, uh, for instance, Card Kingdom has pretty aggressive prices. I mean, at the end of the day, Card Kingdom, no one's really looking for a discount. And they have the collector boxes cheaper than Rudy Chan right now. And that should tell you everything you need to know about how high his prices are. So again, Card Kingdom is a big retailer. They do everything well. They do shipping well. And they have bundles of Carvel Manor at 35. They have the booster boxes at 100. They have the collector booster box at 175, which is $5 lower than the deal that Alpha Investments is giving you. And that doesn't, and Car Kingdom, you don't need to pay them $15 a month or $100 a month, depending on your subscription rate. So, yeah, it's a four day sale. It's kind of random. I don't really know uh, exactly why it's not like a holiday. Maybe, maybe it is a holiday, Monday, but why would you begin the sale four days? And why would it be four days, not a three day sale? But regardless of these questions I have, this is savage because everyone is dumping. The only one dude who told you to invest in this was Alpha Investment. And obviously, if he can sell it to you for $180 plus $15 a month, that's one, what? $195. There's people dumping at $140 as we speak. There's people dump Car Kingdoms dumping at $175. And what you should know is that's actually below distributor or what most local game stores pay. So Rudy is just, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he's only he's the only one who likes this set, right? And then when he opens the set, he has no idea where what slot has what card. It, it's a catastrophe. And it's getting really, really ugly out there for Carvel Manor. Carvel Manor probably will go down as the most dump set ever. And it's supposedly a limited run, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, so that's why... I'm, look, Car Kingdom, as I said many times, I look at their buy list. I use their buy list for reference. They're typically really smart people at Car Kingdom. Much smarter than one individual because it's a team of individuals making buying and selling decisions instead of one dude in his Taco Bell basement. The issue is really simple. Why is Rudy so positive about Carvel Manor? Why is he opening Carvel Manor, right? It's because he wants to sell it to you. But there are much cheaper and, in my opinion, more reliable places to buy from, including Card Kingdom. So if you can buy something with Card Kingdom, which is a legit store that will take care of you if something goes wrong, I've heard many times that Rudy's promos get damaged and people complain and there's nothing that gets done. And even... The way he did the sorcery play match where people complained and he just threw a fit. Yeah, that's not how a big corporation like Car Kingdom would do because there are multiple people and at least one of them would be calm enough to resolve the situation in favor of the customers, right? They're always going to be customer forward. So we have massive dump after massive dump. You might be like, oh, well, nothing is wrong. Everything is good. <laughs> I got a bridge to sell you. Uh, Carvel Manor, everyone's dumping it. It's almost like people got word of an Amazon dump, which Rudy said is never going to happen again because he prevented it, right? But it's almost like that, man. It's almost like everyone and their grandmother is expecting an Amazon dump sometime soon, minus Rudy, who thinks that Amazon dumps are a thing of the past. So they had decided to preempt the said Amazon dump by getting ahead of it by dumping themselves. And as you can see, the Card Kingdom, even, I mean, unless they're purchasing, I mean, maybe they're purchasing 1200 of plus of this product. But even then, can they really get the price that much lower? Because each tier, they're reducing the price only by like $3 or something. So to get it to 175 which is the break even, but then they also have free shipping, I believe. Man, I mean, everyone, this is going to go down as the worst investment set in history. Maybe even worse than Dragon Maze. 
it's looking that way because people remember this is not an old set this set was hyped by rudy chan because he wanted to sell a lot of it at 180 and the set's already down to 140 and dropping and even big box retailers like car kingdom they're they're at 175 you know i got an email from one of the people rudy had dinner with one time and he was a huge Rudy fan. This is like one of the biggest Rudy fans. And even he, let me read you his stuff. Says, Rudy needs to respond to your video. He owes his patrons an explanation for why he's asking 180 for a product where the market value is 140. What happens when he ignores stuff like this is he loses Patreon. Channel doesn't grow. Basically, what's been happening, laugh out loud. Guys... Why pay 180 or a $15 membership when you can get Car Kingdom for 175 and be very, very confident should something go wrong, shipping go wrong, resealed, that they will take care of you? And the answer is because you like Rudy, right? Well, money is getting tighter, guys. Money, you know, $8,200 free attendees of MetaZoo are not going to happen anymore. Those people who pay that money are out. If you go, well, they sold, they flip. Somebody is out a shit ton of money, right? And MetaZoo. And you can't tell me all his patrons flipped their product, right? That's not true. They kept their Rudy promos. I mean, they're showing them off and they have a collection. This is just not true. I mean, you look at the 6.9. You can't tell me people bought 6.9 for $700 to flip. No, they all opened them. That's the Rudy Timmy mentality. They get something, they're going to open it because that's Timmy's. Right? And they're not going to flip it. And even if they wanted to flip it, why? why would they... like? You have to understand the main competition. If Rudy sells it to you at 180, he probably got it for 140. Because he's making money from you. And then when it comes time to sell, he has more boxes than you have, more distribution networks. He has eBay, he's got uh, Patreon. You don't have any of this stuff. Rudy is actually his Patreon's biggest competitor because he has exactly the identical product. And he is able to sell it at the same price you bought it at. Carvalho Manor, man, when I saw him promoting this shit, I was like, oh my god, MetaZoo must really be dead now. They, he milked the MetaZoo cow until the cow just collapsed over uh, heat exhaustion or dehydration. And now he's trying to milk the uh, Magic the Gathering. But like, you guys are smart. Guys, you are smart enough to realize that he is not the lowest price anymore. There are bigger players that involve, including Card Kingdom. The fact they're dumping this product on a quote is sale. That's all you need to know. There are very smart people. I trust Card Kingdom way more than I trust Alpha Investment, right? They they're public and they're transparent about their buy list. If you don't like it, don't don't buy, sell it to them. If you don't like their price, don't buy from them. That's transparency is something that Rudy Chan has never offered. He's hidden behind a paywall, which is a fifteen dollar membership. And why is that? And I, and, you know, I was talking to this individual who used to be a huge Alpha Investment fan. And it's because the more transparent people are, the more you realize what Alpha Investments is. It's not the best deal. It's not the lowest price on product. And it's not even good product. It's just boxes and boxes of junk sitting in his basement. Yuck.